Hi, in today's video, we are going to learn how to use or how to draw a chart using HTML5 canvas. To draw a chart, we can have two alternatives, either draw a chart from scratch or directly use canvas.js library. Canvas.js is one of the powerful and lightweight charting library which is built upon HTML5 and JavaScript. There are some key features which are very important to make use of Canvas.js. First one is the charts that are prepared using Canvas.js are very elegant. They are lightweight. They are heavy in performance. That means it will take very little time to load, update and view. They run across various browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, Safari and Internet Explorer 8+. They can be viewed easily and clearly on tablet and mobile phones. We have wide and custom range of charting primitives in Canvas.js. They are dynamic or real time. We have zooming functionality for these charts. We can pan the chart. We can export a chart into an image or such as JPEG, PNG or directly print to the printer. We can add animations to these stars. They are having beautiful themes to choose from. There are different color customs that you can choose from and many more features to this. Only looking at the important concepts, Canvas.js library is widely used just because it runs across various devices such as iPhones, iPad, Android phones, Microsoft Surface, desktops and Linux and Unix systems. This allows us to create very rich dashboard that work across the devices without compromising any maintainability and its functionality. So the important or highlighted features are it is very simple to use and it has very intuitive API. So you can start using it in a minute itself. They comes with very beautiful and elegant looking themes. The look and feel of these charts will be very good. You don't need to actually customize, but you can do. You have that capability. They are having very high performance. That means they won't take so much time to process the data, load the data and render the shapes over your screen. They work, they work on all the modern devices. You just leave it. It will work on that device. And this most important feature is it is a standalone. You do not need to have any other support library to run Canvas.js. We just need JavaScript along with that. And it is very well maintained over the web and it has the fantastic support of the developers across the world. Now let us start with Canvas.js library or how to use Canvas.js in your page. So very first step is to download Canvas.js library from canvasjs.com website. You have two different options. You can either include your Canvas.js main library from the URL itself or you can download and store it inside your computer. Any option will do, but we will go with the downloaded version. From this website, you can download canvas.min.js file. You have to extract to the folder where you are going to store your HTML web page. So it must extract it and put inside the folder where you are having an HTML file. Now, how to add this canvas.js library which we have just downloaded extracted into a web page. So, we have to import or include this file. The file name is canvas.js.min.js all in small tag inside a web page. So, where this library actually goes? 
Inside head part, we will add one script tag, where tag type is equal to text slash JavaScript, but source is now specified with src is equal to the canvas.js library. That is canvas.js.min.js included inside double quotes. Now, we will have another script tag to write some script. So, one script tag is just to include canvas.js library and second script tag to write actual JavaScript to display a data. First example, we will see how to display a column chart with a canvas.js library. A column chart is nothing but a rectangular bar with some length that is proportional to the value of data it is representing. Your column chart is very really useful to compare the data points for one or more data series. We have two axes in column chart that we all know x-axis and y-axis. X-axis is generally horizontal one and Y-axis is vertical one. Now, to have chart in your web page, the JavaScript line that you would like to include is only two. The first line that you will include is the declaration of one variable, variable chart. And second line you will include chart.render. Now what this chart variable will store? This chart variable will store canvas.js.chart. So we will write variable where chart is equal to new canvas.js.chart. Make sure the C, J, S all are capital. And this chart method also have C as capital. Inside this method call, there are only two parameters. The first parameter is the ID of the portion of your web page where you want to display this chart. So the area of web page which is uniquely identified ID, that ID is chart container. And at this area we are having, we are supplying this unique ID over here. So chart container is nothing but an ID given to some tag in your HTML page. The second parameter is an object. Now you can see we have not written anything between this opening and closing parenthesis. So this opening and closing parenthesis tells that there is some object that we want to pass inside it. Now that object is defined by multiple attributes or properties. The very first property is title. This is completely optional property. You can skip it. But if you want your chart to have a title, you must include first property as the title property. Now properties are given value with the help of colon sign. Make sure you do not use is equal to give the title. So title is given some value. So title colon. Now this value can be text itself, the formatting of text, the placement of text, color of text and many more that you can do. But for the time being, I am only interested in setting the title text. So between opening and closing bracket, I am skipping all these settings of title just specifying its text. So between opening and closing parenthesis, I am writing first property of title that is text. Now text is set to some string. That's why to set or allocate some value, we are again using colon sign. And the title of the column chart is set inside the double quotes. You can change this text according to your chart. Now, other than title, we must give some data which can be shown inside the column chart. Now, that particular thing is given inside second parameter. Notice that after this title colon opening and closing bracket, we have comma. That means title is one of the property. The second property is data. 
Now data property values are assigned using again colon, but here the brackets are nothing but an array or a collection. So instead of using parentheses to denote an object, we are using square brackets to denote it is in array. So what will go inside this array? In this array, we are giving first parameter as our first object. Between opening and closing parentheses, we are specifying actually an object. Now this object that we are giving to data as a part of first array element having two properties. First property is defining how this data should be displayed in a chart. So that can be done with the help of type colon column. So this value will make a chart as column chart. And second is nothing but data points that you want to render inside this column chart. So second property data points colon set of Color data point enclosed in square brackets. Now, how to specify these data points? Data points are specified by se comma separated object. Again, first object that means opening and closing parenthesis, comma, second object that means second opening and closing parenthesis, comma, third object, and so on. So say for example, I would like to display 9 columns, I need to supply 9 objects inside this data point square bracket. Now first object is having 2 values. First one is its x component that is x value 10 and y component that is y value 71. Make sure you do not use equal to sign to assign value. We make use of colon sign. So x is having value 10, y is having value 71. For x20, y is 55. For x30, y is 50 and so on. I have defined 9 data points. What will we have to do in next? Nothing. We have to put all this code inside your web page inside script attack. So putting all these things in a web page, we start our document with hi exclamation doc type HTML. Inside HTML head, we are including canvas.js library. So script type javascript source canvas.js.min.js. We are adding one function called as window.onload. So window.onload is an event that will be fired when you are opening your web browser or refreshing your web page. In that case, we have to execute some set of lines. Now these set of lines are put inside one function. So on window dot on load event is equal to that means we have to run something what we have to run we have to run a function now this function is called as anonymous function because it doesn't have a name but it has some statements and that will be executed on on load event at the time of on load event of window so whatever the coding line that I have explained to you right now, we will just copy paste those lines here inside this function. So we will write variable chart is equal to new canvas.js.chart, chart, chart container, comma, the remaining portions of your canvas.js library. And the last statement that we will have chart.render, we will complete the function over here. And that is the thing completes my script. Now this script is including my canvas.js.min.library. Otherwise you have already included in previous script, but it is better to have a separate script to include this. Now inside body, kindly note that we do not have canvas tag. We are having division tag. Division is nothing but a part of a web page where you can put some text or drawing or anything you want. Any element you can put inside division. So division 
whose id is chart container and now this id we have passed in our on lucha canvas js library dot chart function and this division uh, is having height of 30 pixel and width of 100% as of window size so when you resize the window your chart will also get resized because your division is having width as 100% now this width 100% is it's following its body's width so if window is uh, minimized the body will be minimized and hence the division width will be minimized if body is getting bigger its width will get bigger and ultimately division's width will also get bigger so this is the simple canvas chart let me show you this canvas in a web page this is the first code that i would like you all to see this is my html doc type in html we are having head tag we have one script tag where source is canvas.js.min.js Now, please notice the basic Canvas JS library structure. Whenever you are going to use Canvas JS in your web page, this should be the layout of your page. We have head. Inside head, we are having two script tag. First script tag is using source as Canvas JS dot main dot JS, and second script will write all the code to display a chart. Inside second script tag, we are having an event window dot onload. On this onload event, one function should get executed, and that function is consisting of some. That function is consisting of some uh, code, and that code we are going to write over here. Now this code must have only two lines. First line should be variable chart. is equal to new canvas.js where c j s r capital dot chart now this chart c is also capital now you must refer or supply the argument as first argument which is the area where you would like to display this chart now this id is nothing but chart container which is the is the same id that you have given inside division that you should also note the second parameter that you are supplying is nothing but an object that your complete go code will go over here your complete code will go here and this is the completion of your function okay and this is the end of your script and before you close the function you must also call chart dot render method okay so this is the basic layout or structure of a canvas js in your html page now as i said the complete object that you would like to pass will have only two properties one is title and another one is data within title there are so many things that you can set but currently we are setting only text within data you can have multiple data but currently we are having only one data so here data that we would like to render is the column one that is nothing but a column chart and there are nine data points the code that i have just explained to you is put inside this page and saving this document and viewing it in a web page as you can see this is the title that we have set basic column chart using canvas if you want to see here it is okay inside title inside text we have basic column chart using canvas as our title and the same title appears over your chart now over x we have 
points from x equal to 10 to x equal to 90 that means 9 data points are there that's why x axis is already marked with 10 20 30 40 and up to 90 over the y axis we are having different values so the scale is selected by canvas js itself as from 10 to 10 and the height of each bar is corresponding to its y value for example x equal to 10 y was 71 so the height of this bar is 71 and when i hovering over that bar a tooltip appears which says 10 colon 71 that means this is the bar where x value is 10 and y value is 71 if i hover over the fifth point its x and y values are appearing me as my tooltip and at the bottom you see canvasds.com as a timestamp you need to have paid downloaded version in order to remove this timestamp you can customize this uh, stamp over here but for free version you will always get this stamp over here and that is not a problem for us if you are not writing this chart dot render your chart won't be able to display cheat let us check that as you can see the complete code is there but we have not rendered we have not called the print method to display it over the screen so it is very compulsory to call render method at the end of the function removing it again saying now chart is rendered So this is an output that we are getting for column chart. Another thing that I would like you all to note is the chart is displayed in a half of the web page. This is because here division width we have set to 50%. If I change it to 100%, it will show me 100% width. Okay. Now whenever I resize my page, this is resized. Okay and uh, while resizing let me change as you can see even though my window is getting smaller my complete column chart is visible none of the part of this chart is getting high even though window is getting smaller so you can change the width and height in percentage according to the your requirement Now what if we would like to have more than one type of chart? For example, I am not interested in plotting uh, column chart. I want the same data to be displayed in a bar chart or in a line chart or in area chart or in pie chart. There is only one line that you need to change. The line that I have highlighted with this red box. The line which says type colon column. This you can change it to bar. When you change it to bar, it will display your the for this figure. If you change its value to line, you will get line chart. If you change this value to pi, it will give you pi chart and so on. Let me show you the effect of this. So your type is bar and in, I am also modifying the title. So it goes in accordance with my actual data type of chart okay so just refreshed it now my chart is rendered as in bar instead of column let me change one more uh, make it pi and uh, change the title accordingly as you can see now it is pie chart this is x1 x2 x3 x4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and when I go with line, simply you have to write line chart and updating the title accordingly, saving it and refreshing this. As you can see, this is the line chart. And the final I would like to demonstrate is area chart. So here you will write area. Area chart is nothing but the updated version of line chart. One more dimension is also added into it. So here it is an area. So thank you everyone for watching this video. In this video we have demonstrated the use of canvas.js library to plot.
कॉलम चार्ट बार चार्ट पाई चार्ट लाइन चार्ट एंड एरिया चार्ट थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो दिस इज मुनीरा टोपिया साइनिंग आउट